Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we have a very highly requested coral. This is all about the Hollywood Stunner Chalice Coral. Prices on them, you can expect a frag to be about $20 to get one. But if you're looking for like a really nice big piece, you can spend over $100 to get one that size. Care level, I would say moderate and it's mainly just getting them into the tank safely and making sure they're eating a lot. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. You know, I like to keep my reef tank right on 78. That keeps all my corals really happy. You definitely want to keep a heater in there for the winter months. That way your tanks stay in a good temp all throughout the day. Jaeger heaters are one of my favorite ones to get because what they'll do is they'll heat the tank up to the temperature it needs to be and then they'll shut off, wait for the tank to lose that temperature and then it'll turn back on and get it right back. So they're really convenient to have. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. You want to make sure you keep that salinity right in check. That way this doesn't harm the corals if you had any kind of jumps or spikes in the tank. Make sure you do have a slow acclimation ready for these guys. Chalices are very fragile whenever going into a new tank, so a drip acclimation is very important when putting them there. A lot of times we've seen people rush it too fast and it can cause them to bleach. Colors on them, they have blue and purple body all over, and then these almost lime green eyeballs just all over them, which are actually their mouths. They are very pretty up close and from far away, so they are a great one to have, especially if you have some LED lights that like to shine a lot of blues, because it'll make those colors really pop. Diet, so they are photosynthetic, so they're going to be feeding on the lights and what's in the water all throughout the day but it's also good to feed them liquid foods this helps them grow stronger and grow faster in the tank so anything like oyster feast or reef roids that you can mix up and squirt in there and the power heads and blow around the tank they will really love that you'll see the feeder tentacles come out like crazy origin so nowadays they are aquaculture most of the time when you're buying one it's just from someone who has fragged it off already and grown it in their own tank but originally they were from the indo-pacific area Venomous, so yes, they are venomous, but it's only those feeder tentacles that can sting other surrounding corals whenever they feed. So just be careful where he's starting to grow and where you place them because they can grow out. You know, they'll just keep growing like a GSP. They will just continue to get larger and larger. So just make sure if you do have other corals in the tank, they're not going to be close enough to be getting stung by those feeder tentacles. Placement, they can really be placed anywhere in the tank. I usually try to put them in the middle. That way it keeps my lighting perfect and I don't worry about having them too high and those lights hitting them too hard or too low where the lights aren't hitting them good enough. Good spot in the middle to help them grow out is always perfect. Current, you definitely want a medium current for good feeding that blows everything around on him so that he can eat well. If the current is too low, this will cause detritus and hair algae to grow on top of him in those dead spots. So make sure he has good solid current flowing all over him. That way you don't have to worry about that. And too high of a current can cause him to fall off his mantle. And with this coral being a very, very fragile coral, it can cause him to split. So you don't want to have a really large piece that you've been growing out to fall. Lighting, I would say moderate on the lighting. Lows of 30 par to all the way up to 150 par will do great. Colors will fade with too bright of lights. So you definitely want to make sure a lot of the LEDs out there have an acclimation cycle now on them. So you definitely want to use that when placing this chalice in there. That way you do not risk the chance of him getting bleached under your new lights. If you do start to see his color fade on the edge, whether it's turning a brownish color, turning a white color, you definitely want to make some changes to your lighting. Most of the time it's because the whites are too high for him. And you want to just back those off. That way those blues and purples are keeping them happy. If you do have some questions about your lighting and you're unsure if this chalice will do good up under them, please reach out to me. I can help you out with that. Tank size, it doesn't really matter. Just remember these guys are going to grow out continuously throughout their life. So you want to make sure you're fragging them at the right time. That way they're not covering shade above your corals at the bottom. And also making sure they aren't touching your other corals with their feeder tentacles. Now fragging is very easy for a chalice, especially this one as you can simply just break off a piece with little to no force. They are very fragile, which is good for fragging, but not that good for placing in your tank at the beginning because they can break. 
and then you can simply take that frag, glue it to a frag plug, and he'll continue growing. So I will recommend whenever you are placing this Hollywood Stunner into your tank, you want to have some reef glue ready to go because it's going to take him time for that bottom to actually grab onto a rock. So you want to have some reef glue you can put down there and stick him on it. That way he'll be good and in place so that whenever he continues to grow, he'll be able to attach himself. But attaching at the beginning is not fast like an anemone. It is very slow process. So make sure you have plenty of glue you can put up under him so that it can anchor him to the rock on where you want to put him. That hits on everything. Just a quick high level of what you need to know about the Hollywood Stunner Chalice Coral and taking care of them in your tank. You definitely want to make sure your water level is clear. Make sure you got good lighting in there. Most of the time, higher lightings like metal halides and T5 bulbs are typically too bright for them. Most of the time, the LEDs that have a lot more blues and a little bit of whites do a lot better up under them. Remember, those feeder tentacles can stink other corals, so you don't want those getting close to them. And then just making sure you have enough current on them so that it's keeping that detritus and algae growing on top of them, but not too much that it's going to knock them off of his mantle. If y'all do have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to help y'all out if you're unsure about your lighting or unsure about the fish that are already in your tank. I can definitely help you out. I hope y'all all have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and a holiday season, and I will see y'all later. This video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. This clothing brand is operated and owned by Brock himself, and he has those new All About Tees that will be great for the holiday season for you and your family. Make sure to go check them out and get a couple for yourself. Happy Holidays!